First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, also to the true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Amash Yah, also to the Final Father, the true Father, one West. This is Fallen Kings coming right back at you again with another lesson. And I'm going to title this lesson, what, what, what Will Happen to the Wicked? And um, when I'm talking about the wicked, we know the two-thirds, which is the, na um, the wicked of Israel. And before I go farther and listen, I'm going to definitely go ahead and um, miss, um, list this message for the 12 tribes of Israel, which, can, which consists of the 12 tribes, the blacks, the so-called blacks, the so-called Native American Indians, and so-called Latinos to USA Shalawan. According to Biblical Pro Prophecy, James 101, 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. To you, I say greetings. Um, yeah, so the wicked, what I'm referring to is the so-called white man, which is considered of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. Um, Malachi, the book of Malachi mentioned about the, the wicked. So Esau, Edom, which is a so-called white man, is primarily the wicked. And what will happen to them? According to biblical prophecy and according to scriptures so let me let me go let me let me get right into the verse here it's the book of proverbs it says it's the book of proverbs chapter 2 verse 22 but the wicked shall be cut off from the earth that's talking about Esau, Edom. Now, why would the wicked be cut off from the earth? Because all the wickedness they have put on the earth, um, but the Atlantic, the transatlantic slave trade, trillions was made from the transatlantic slave trade. The oppression of the blacks, the oppression of the Latinos, the oppression of Native American. They just celebrate a wicked holiday, thanks stealing, um, covering the image of Yahweh Shah. Uh, Job chapter nine verse twenty four says, "The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, who is he?" Covering the faces of, of the judges for raping, robbing us, um, stealing our identity, stealing our heritage. Esau will be cut off. And it makes him about that in the book of Obadiah. It says, but the wicked should be cut off from the from the earth and the transgressions should be rooted out of it. So Esau will not be existing no more once they get judged from, from the Heavenly Father. And this is not a man-made movement. This is spiritual. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And that's talking about the twelve tribes of Israel. We are patiently waiting um, for this for this for this man be taken down, which is Esau Edom. But the point I want to get to is that for evildoers shall be cut off. And now remember this, you know, um, whatever the most high do should be forever. When you read Ecclesiastes chapter three, verse fourteen. Um so what will happen to Esau once he started his captivity? He will be exterminated off the face of the earth. Let's get that. We're going to get that in Obadiah. But first, let me get Psalm chapter 37, verse 9. It says, for, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. And see, the reason why it says a little while, because remember, the Bible is a spiritual book. And remember, one day with, with the Heavenly Father is a thousand years. For us, it seems like, man, this man been ruling forever. But in, t in the heavenly realm, it's been a little while. Because one day with the heavenly father is a thousand years. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt thou should diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. That means people are going to be like, whatever happened to Edomites? But we'll never, we'll, they will be what you call extinct. When the most High bring that internal judgment. Let's get that real quick in Obadiah. This is Obadiah, chapter 1, verse 18. In the house of Jacob, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native American Indians, and our brothers and sisters in various, various items, island, islands like, um, like, um, like Jamaica, Barbados, um, Colombia, Brazil, all those are 12... All those are different various items that we were scattered during the transatlantic slave trade. It says, "In the house of Jacob shall be a fire; in the house of Joseph, sh um, a flame, which is the northern kingdom of Israel; in the house of Esau, for stubble, and they shall kindle 
in them and devour them, and there should be no more this Shalakia, and there should not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it.